joins us now from Tamworth. Mr Joyce, good morning. How's that bet looking this morning? Michael, it's looking great. Uh, I wish I was back in it. So you still bet your house on Tony Abbott staying in the top job? Well, I think we're just getting caught in semantics. What we're obviously saying here that is that the Australian people expect stability. They uh, abhorred what happened in the last government. Uh, they acknowledge that what happened in the last government, it wasn't only the, the stabilising effect of having this sort of rotating uh, circus of leaders and all these sort of machinations that go on behind it, but it was also the result of it. And the result that was that we were $300,000 million in debt by the time they left the building. And we can't obviously go on like that. Even now, we're trying to resolve that issue, as uh, Scott Morrison said. And if we don't resolve that issue, Michael, then our capacity to finance all those fundamental things that are so important to people's lives, the health services, their pensions, the pharmaceutical benefit scheme, the capacity to defend the nation, the ABC, the SBS, all these things become under threat. So we must turn the situation around. And by so doing that, uh, we obviously at times aggravate people because they, they don't like it when you suggest something that is going to cost slightly more. But what is our alternative? If there is an alternative way to go about this, then surely that must be stipulated by Mr Shorten. And he's failed to do that. He's, he's vacuous in his capacity to provide any alternate. Uh, so we must have stability. Well, we must continue to forge ahead. Uh, we acknowledge that it, it's heavy weather at the moment, uh, but that tests the metal and the substance and the character of the people uh, what, what would absolutely terrify people is to show that we're scatterbrains and we're all over the shop. Well, and Barnaby Joyce, would stabi stability and certainly an improvement in your polling outlook be provided by replacing Tony Abbott with either Julie Bishop or Malcolm Turnbull? Uh, well, all that would show is that we have learnt nothing from the sins of the previous government. In fact, we've become the next chapter of the previous government. And uh, you don't start reacting uh, to the issues of a small uh, period of time because it casts a whole pall over how they see you. They expect you to be strong. They expect you to be consistent. They acknowledge that at times there is going to be heavy going. Uh, but the way you test the character of a government is its, me its mechanisms, its capacity and its characters who forge through that. Uh, you, don't, you don't sink the ship as a mechanism to try and find a better place in the ocean to swim. Now, you're looking at the same polls we're looking at. Those polls show the coalition government is heading for an epic defeat if Tony Abbott stays on as Prime Minister. Surely, as a, a, a tenet of political survival, should Tony Abbott's position be reviewed? Well, we have one, we have one and a half years to the election. Uh, it was always going to be a hard task. It needs people of substantial character uh, to actually see that task through. It's a hard task for Tony Abbott. It's a hard task for Joe Hockey. It's a hard task for the leadership group because we have a hard job in front of us. Uh, we could do the cowardly thing. We could make everybody think that we're wonderful, tell them everything they want to hear, keep spending the money, um, but that would not be the right thing. It would not be, to be honest, the noble thing. It would be the cowardly thing because we would know full well that we are putting the Australian people in a dire position. Uh, we have to do, to be honest, the unpopular thing to try and turn the nation around. And you know, that's what we're doing right now. And for my part, Scott's been telling you his part, for my part, record prices in cattle, record prices in sheep, cotton at $500 a bale, wine prices going up. Uh, the dairy industry, although we're starting to deal with a bit of headwinds now because of the Ukraine-Russia situation, we had record prices in dairy. We are turning things around. We are making a difference. And that difference, I will comp I'll always stand up against my previous, I don't know how many umpteen agricultural ministers the Labor Party had, mm. and said, I'll compare my record to okay. yours. Now, uh, as somebody who has spent a lot of uh, his political career in Queensland, do you agree with Tony Abbott that federal factors had no role to play at all in the outcome on Saturday? Well, I was certainly ringing round, and one of the big issues, and I'll, I'll give a quote, the person was saying, I was at a polling booth, and uh, I think it was a CFMEU uh, person handing out was saying, don't vote for Newman, he'll sell your assets to the Chinese. Uh, now, that's, that's a pretty powerful message. But that was, at, excuse me for interrupting, uh, that wasn't the question. I'm asking federal factors. Do you believe with Tony Abbott when, you said, when he said he wasn't a factor in how people voted? Uh, I think that people are smart enough. If you're asking me, is Tony Abbott the reason they had the poll result in Queensland? No, no he one, wasn't. one of the, not, one not of the not reasons. One of the reasons. I think the, the effects at a federal level are always minor. No, none of the federal... Uh, I did a bit of campaigning in the, in, up there and I'm happy to hope 
that uh, Trevor Watts holds on. But it's, uh, it, it, there was no real federal overlay. They didn't want uh, a campaign that was concentrating on anything but Queensland. And at the end of the result, you've got to look at what you did as a state. Uh, and th what they did as a state uh, is now up for review. Uh, some of the policies they took forward were just were too much for the people of Queensland and they didn't win. And finally, and very quickly, just to get it clear for all of us, do you expect Tony Abbott to still be Prime Minister at the next election? Uh, yes, I do. I, I do because um, what, whilst Tony Abbott is there, it is not just uh, a, a one-man show. It is a reflection of a whole government, of a whole cabinet, of stability. And uh, if, if we don't have stability, then you don't really have much to offer. And uh, that's what happened to the... If you want to know, know what happens to uh, people who have a metaphor of instability, have a look at my, Mr Rudd, have a look at Ms Gillard, have a look at what happened to the Labor Party and have a look at what the Australian people did to them. You don't repeat that unless you unless you uh, are foolish. OK, we'll see how the week plays out. Barnaby Joyce in Tamworth, thank you very much for your time as well this morning. My pleasure.